The hospital merger is taking on more opposition, resulting in a dramatic moment at the state capitol today. The CEOs of Fairview and Sanford say they will not delay their proposed merger despite requests from lawmakers, regulators, and the University of Minnesota. Political reporter Theo Keith at the capitol for us tonight. So Theo, where do these merger talks stand? Well, the Minnesota Attorney General is right in the middle of an investigation into whether this merger would violate state law. Against that backdrop, lawmakers called the two CEOs to the Capitol today to get some guarantees. The heads of Fairview Health Services and Sanford Health took a verbal beating from Democratic lawmakers, the University of Minnesota, and the state's Attorney General. Let's start with the U, which has raised concerns about the merger for weeks and Monday made its most definitive statement yet. We will oppose this at this time. University officials say Fairview and Sanford are focused on a business deal, not the university's mission. The U, which has its own partnership with Fairview, wants its campus facilities back. The Attorney General's office is reviewing whether the merger violates state law. AG Keith Ellison is asking the health systems to delay their March 31st target date for the closing. We believe at the State Attorney General's office that March 31st as a target date is too ambitious. But Fairview and Sanford CEOs stuck with their target date, which they've been working toward for months. Can we ditch the, uh, the March 31st date? What I would say to that is not yet at this time. I find that answer extremely disappointing. You know, what I wrote down as the two of you were testifying is, what's the rush? The CEOs said a combined health system would save money on medical technology, pharmaceuticals, and IT. And they promised better care. Health care delivery has fundamentally changed, and it is imperative upon us in our role to serve Minnesotans, to make sure that we adapt, we innovate, and we continue to progress care. That's why it's important to move forward. Sanford is based in South Dakota where abortion is illegal, but today its CEO said that abortion access and abortion care services in Minnesota would not change as a result of the merger. I did ask the Attorney General's office, Keith Ellison's office, if he had a target date for when his own review would be done into these antitrust issues, and I was told no, they're taking their time and they're waiting for more information from both of the health systems. Amy? All right, Theo, thank you. Amazon